Sprang and behind us, this is a live look at Bourbon Street where people are drinking fast and walking slow, it looks like. Yeah, a whole lot of them, too. And that's not the only place that people are celebrating Lundy Gras. WGNO's Amy Russo is at the convention center for the Orpheus Fall. Amy. Yes, yeah, Susie Kerr, we're here at the crew of Orpheus' Ball where the parade still hasn't made their way in here just yet, but that is really not stopping the party from happening. We've got the party crashers right behind me who have been warming up the crowd. Everybody's so excited. It's the 30th anniversary for Orpheus, so you already know, you guys, they're doing it up big. Live at Orpheus Capade, vibes are immaculate. You see everybody dancing. They're drinking, they're having a good time. They're listening to the party crashers right now. They've been out here for a little over an hour, possibly two hours. The crowd definitely warmed up. We've seen the celebrity monarchs, Darren Chris, Joey Fatone, and like I said, now we're waiting for the 38 floats that'll eventually end their parade route here at the convention center. Singer and actor Harry Connick Jr., that's one of the founders of this crew, so it's no shock this crew's named Orpheus since it's history. All about the power of music. One float, everyone excited to see the Smoking Mary float. It's one of the longest in all of Carnival. And while this crew may have 1,300 members, about 5,000 people are here attending the Orpheus Ball. They wanted to celebrate this crew and I mean, honestly, you guys, just check it out. Just take it in for a second. This is what's happening at the convention center. So many people excited for Carnival, having a great time. This is what Mardi Gras is all about. So we're going to keep you guys updated on what is going on here at Orpheus Capade in about a half hour. Susie Kurt. It looks like the floats are on the way from what we can tell. They'll be there in just a bit. Thanks, Amy.